Oh. I've got the audio doubling up on my end. <laughs> That's a bit bizarre. Hello, every single person watching this. Today is the 23rd of August, 2021. That is a lot of 20s. There's two of them. Uh, probably... Well, I guess it happened three times last year, but... Uh, anyways, uh... Well, my name is b &O. you may remember me from the b and Show, uh, and uh, today I will be playing yet again more Pokemon Gold. Uh, today is going to be a bit of an interesting one. I think they're all kind of interesting streams. So how about I dive right into it, but first I've got to boot up the game. Um, there we go. Let's boot her up, lady and gentlemen. Switch to the game. Will you get the game? There you go. Easy enough. Easy as pie. Uh, so you may notice from the stream title I have given up in finding songs with monster in the name and instead I'm gonna go with songs with pocket in the name because that's the other half of Pokemon. But that's alright because it's plenty of songs with pocket in the name I guess. Um, you'd be surprised how hard it is. Like I would have imagined a lot of songs have monster in the name but no? No? It's, it's kind of tough. Um, at least it's tougher than Sun. Sun is in everything. Uh, we don't, we're not watching the full intro again, we're jumping into the game. Uh, so... Yeah, uh, last stream, uh, was clearing out the rocket, uh, infiltration of the Goldenrod radio station all the way to the very, very end. And today, I've got to swap the Pokémon, because I've got to fly all the way back. But that's okay. Um... This is actually a bit of an interesting moment, I think, uh, because, uh, yeah, I had considered using the juicer. But I'm also like, mmm, mmm, I'm on the fence. I'm really on the fence. I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch it and then we'll, we'll see how I go. Uh, so... Uh, I know I'm gonna have to put away someone, uh, so how about I put away Chicky for the moment, um, and uh, I put away the Juicer just because I, I I'll pull someone out in a moment, but uh, for now I'm gonna need my boy uh, Flashfly, as well as who did I teach Headbutt to? It wasn't Cut and Rock Smash, was it? No. They both know Rock Smash and Strength. He's done, he's... he's what's that? Vita... Oh, was Vita the one? No. Who did I teach Headbutt to? I don't think I did teach Headbutt to anyone. Okay. Yeah, no. Nah. That's a bit of an interesting uh, spot for me, but that's okay. So anyway, let's go flash fly, and let's fly all the way to... I hit up. We're going to Mahogany Town. How about I look this one up? Uh... Cause yeah, I need, I need someone that knows Headbutt. And also I need to remember my trainer ID. I've come to this prepared. So I believe that I was a little bit, yeah, actually I was a little bit mistaken. So apparently Route 42, which is east of uh, Ecrutic City, uh, so where the fourth gym is, that is where you can get the other encounter set of Headbutt Pokemon. Uh, there are, yeah, there's two sets of encounters, um, I decided to ignore all the first kind. But then I'm like, ooh, there's one in the second set that I'm maybe a big fan of. Uh, now, yeah, I also was like, eh, I'm not gonna bother catching anything there. But then I'm also like, eh, I mean, <laughs> like not only is it Route 42, but there's 43 and 44. And then that's it. That's actually it for the, um, the encounters. Uh, not even the Lake of Rage is apparently safe. I don't know why. Uh... Route 29 is in the same boat? I don't know, man. I really shouldn't be paying attention. I could have gotten 
my boy really early, but point is I can go north from here as long as I've got something that knows headbutt. So now I just need to look up something that does know headbutt and go, ah, okay. Uh, fortunately, a lot of Pokemon learn headbutt in this game. Um, surprisingly a lot, actually. Like, there's a lot of Pokemon that only will learn headbutt in this game, like this generation, and that's it. Uh, now, Shuckle can learn headbutt, but I'm gonna pass on Shuckle and instead try and find um, something more expendable that I that I own. Oh, I'm an idiot. I know exactly what to get. Uh, but yeah, no, interesting. Uh, well, hello, Mr. Crip. How's it going? Uh, it's been a bit of an interesting week for me. I haven't. I also believe I. Oh, I don't have headbutt. Okay, Togepi can learn headbutt. I don't really know why I never did this, actually. I'm really curious. I think I was under the impression that I couldn't get, uh, this, this Pokemon until, uh, much later. But no, I could have gotten him right away and I could have been using him this entire time. I really, like, I do like Bayleaf into Meganium, but I'm also kind of like, mm, I do like some fun alternative kinds of strats. Also, I love how this person's standing and going, oh, there's a grandma shop. She sells stuff that nobody else has. So I believe this happens after you stop uh, Team Rocket in the hideout. This person actually starts to be, they still sell the Rage Candy Bites if you still want those. But they actually sell these uh, remarkably all right items like uh, Revives. This is actually like, kind of amazing right now. Um, yeah. Uh, but no, yeah, I've not had like, it's been a pretty like all right, not all right week. That's fine. Um, so yeah, so I believe in order to use Headbutt, well, sorry, you can use Headbutt on any tree, I believe, isn't it? Like you just go into your Pokemon thing, go and go Headbutt, can't use that here, that's not the tree. It must be the, the singular trees, which there's fortunately some singular trees near the very, very top. Also, without Team Rocket here, uh, she is a thick starter. The Meganium? Maybe. I wouldn't really describe Meganium as thick, but... I mean, you do you, man. <laughs> we got knocked out, just chilling there. It's night time, you can do it. So, uh, one thing from the last part that I'm a little bit disappointed about is that no one evolved. Uh, so I believe it's these trees, actually. The little, these little short ones, you can headbutt them. Now, I'm specifically going for this tree because there's a variety of Pokemon that can fall out of this tree. Uh, particularly because of my uh, trainer... Well, actually, so remember with headbutting, uh, there's a... Um, you're either going to hit a tree that doesn't give you anything, uh, a uh, tree that will give you stuff, or a tree that does give you uh, a rare encounter. Uh, in this case, the normal encounters uh, for this route as well as a few other routes. Uh, it's either 80% chance of Sparrow and 20% chance of Apom for the common one, or it's 50% chance of Sparrow, 20% Apom, and then 30% Heracross. Now, unfortunately, Heracross, or really everything from these headbutt trees, are level 10. And that's horrendous. So, I don't know how to really like go about, like I, I would like to use Heracross, but I'm also like, ugh, it's level 10. <laughs> And I, it was my bad for not, like, having Heracross this whole time. There's no such thing as wasted, um, experience, I guess? Because ultimately, like, I'm gaining experience on, um, well, maybe on, maybe on Bayleaf. Uh, but, if I'm not gonna use Bayleaf on my end team, or at least someone on my end team. Um, but Heracross is, like, one of my favorites. I love Heracross. Heracross is amazing. I also always seem to get a Heracross that's female whenever I try and play these games. I'm not too sure why. It's a 50-50 chance. It's not too odd. But no, I love Heracross because Heracross is just like, you know, crazy, like, when it comes to the physical attack and they're not that slow either. So this powerful Pokemon thrusts its prized horn under its enemies' bellies, then lifts and throws them. There you go. Uh, did you saw the Pokemon present? Ah, yes. So, I always like to call little Heracross. Uh, Hook. He's called Hook. 
<laughs> uh, I did see the Pokemon. Oh, bump the, the pop filter on that one. Um, yeah, no, I did see the Pokemon uh, Direct. I'm in a bit of a weird spot on, like, my opinion on it. I... Oh, that that's a good catch. Uh, I've got the... The, um... Oh, whoops. Flip the leg rage. Uh, thanks for the follow, Tim Tam. Or T1M. Ta1M. But nah, I like your name. It's good. You gotta, you gotta do a Tim Tam slam at some point. That's, that's the king. That's the most Australian, you know, <laughs> sign of respect. If you can do a Tim Tam slam, then, you know, you're in everyone's books. Um, I don't need a heal, really. So, uh, but no, yeah, Heracross, amazing. I love Heracross. Lots of stuff. Uh, so, yeah, so the Pokemon Direct, I guess I can talk about that one first. Uh, it was kind of, I was expecting, uh, exactly the, um, what they announced in the Direct, so when they said, uh, it's Tim Tam from Disco- Oh, sup, man! Sup, how's it going? Uh, yeah, no, the Direct was pretty alright. I thought that I was 100% going, yeah, they're gonna announce games that, or, or announce updates for games that I've played a ton or have come out, and yeah, they kind of did that. Um, they also, I'm glad, uh, I think the biggest thing that I was glad about was their talk on Pokemon Legends Arceus. Sorry, Arceus. I've, I've been saying Arceus wrong the whole time. Wild Munchlax in the remix. Dude, okay, they showed a fair bit of Munchlax in both of the games. Um, like, yeah, I know, I know Munchlax is, uh, is just a different series. Um, there's no monster in the time. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Um, wow, I'm holding onto a lot of loose items. Um, so yeah, so here's the thing that I'm kind of interested about. I'm curious if, uh, oh, except I'm also going to need someone who does no strength. So I am going to need, I'm not going to need Flashfly, but I'm also not going to need someone else. And unfortunately, I think Fluffer is actually in, like, a really good spot because there's a lot of birds and water types in the upcoming bit. Um, I'm tempted to skip Hot Doggo, but there's also a lot of Ice types, so I'm actually going to skip... Uh, Eggbird. Yeah, I, I forgot. Yeah, whoops. Don't need him. Uh, so let's take Herc out. I'm going to give him the experience share. We'll just kind of see how we go. And then I'm also going to need, uh, kind of Rock, because you are going to need Strength. You're gonna need that. I don't think there's any spots you need Surf, so I think we're safe there. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I'm glad that uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus uh, is, one, getting a release date January 28th. I forgot the actual date, but I know it's January, which is much sooner than I was expecting, so that's, that's really good. Um, I'm also happy of the features that they've shown. I'm not 100% like amazed, wow, socks blown off because it's, it's very Monster Honey. I don't think that's an issue, but it's definitely like, yeah, let, like, let's not, let's not pretend that it's a game series that hasn't been, you know, done before or, or a style that's done before. What is neat is it being done with Pokemon. I really like how it will go in concept, so that would be great. Um, I'm already 13 and a half minutes in and only now am I actually like proceeding on the route. Jeez, I'm taking my time. Time's going quick for me, man. I like breathe and it's already the next stream. You know, so uh, this guy, he's only got a Natu. Oh, actually he's got two Pokemon. He's a psychic though, so you gotta watch out. Fortunately, Fluffer is amazing and also one level away from evolving, so we might be in a string of evolutions in this uh, part, but uh, let's go to Kadabra. Who would be the best for Kadabra? I'm thinking no one, boy. But yeah, I, I'm I'm glad for what they've shown. What I'm not as glad about in uh, in that game is uh, it really doesn't look amazing. It looks like they definitely tried to make the, the trees much better than people criticizing them. Uh, in Sword and Shield. I think that there's a there's a point in criticizing the graphics. There's an extent. Like, I think Sword and Shield, it has its issues, and I definitely think that it struggles in some ways, but it's also, you know, it's, it's, it's a fun, succinct little RPG in some cases. Um, I 
think the, the trouble is that Pokemon has been amazingly good in the past, so it's always going to be compared. Um, so her solo level is probably, or she's probably going to get some free, you know, levels here and there, but that's alright. What's on the tree today? Oh, it's a burnt berry. How did, how did I get burnt? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, I could have caught the Hercules here, but I decided not to. This is an interesting route because you can either go above or below, uh, but you're probably going to fight about the same number of trainers. Is this the Maniac? It is. I tried to get Munchlax and Diamond. I spent three days for Latias and Emerald, so... D Munchlax and Diamond is one of the toughest things. I, it's so incredibly hard. I pulled, Last time I played, I pulled a bit of a huge cheat and I kept changing the system clock. It was... Uh, yeah, it's definitely not the way that you're supposed to play it, but it's like... As if anyone is going to legitimately stumble across it. Like, uh, Munchlax. He's so rare. So, for, for reference, Munchlax is absolutely fun in, uh, Diamond Pearl because, uh... I'm gonna look this one up just so I get the numbers. Uh, but there are 21 honey trees in the game. What you can do with a honey tree is, uh, you can put honey on it, and then... In six hours time, uh, the honey, well, a Pokemon may appear on the tree? I, I thought, like, it guarantees that there's a Pokemon on the tree. Uh, and then if you leave it for, uh, a full 24 hours, the Pokemon will be gone. So you have to respond within the 18 hours, I believe. Uh, so... Changing the Nintendo DS's clock will have no impact on the honey tree's timer. Interesting. Alright, so, out of those 21 trees, four of them in the game are randomly picked. This is based on both your trainer ID and your secret ID, so you can't just look at, uh, ah, you made me lose a polywag. What are you going to do about it? Uh, so, yeah, so, four of those trees are randomly decided to be Munchlax trees. You have no idea what they are. The only way that you do know what they are is that if you do find a Munchlax, then you know that, yeah, okay, that's one of the four trees. Uh, now, very annoyingly, uh, there, there is a formula. If you're able to get your secret ID, uh, somehow, not, not through legitimate means, but if you're able to get one, then, uh, you're able to find it. The odds, or sorry, the, the, um, the listings of what you're able to find are exactly the same, except for the Munchlax as well. So it's not like you can look at your encounters and see that you're getting something that you wouldn't get on the Munchlax tree. It's like, no. You can only really tell that it's a, not a Munchlax tree purely by, like, trying to look at the determinism and going, Oh, well, on a non-Munchlax tree, I'm actually less likely to get Apom, but I'm getting Apom a lot. So, I must be getting a non-Munchlax tree, or something like that. Or, sorry, I might be on the right track. That's the only way that you can really, like, tell. Um, and Munchlax, on those four random Munchlax trees, is a 1% chance of finding. Now, Munchlax himself... Not too, not too hard to catch, um, so that's alright. Uh, you can calculate the, from normal ID, two trees. Oh, are two trees? Fine. Oh, sorry, yeah, you're right, so, okay. Yeah, you can guarantee, uh, two of the trees. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, okay, so what they do is that they take, uh, the two bytes of the ID, so they're both, um, uh, yeah, two byte values, the secret ID and the trainer ID, and then they modulo 21 it, uh, and then that's the number of the tree. Uh, I assume it re-rolls? Does this re-roll? Yeah, okay, so if A is equal to B, B is increased by 1, and then so on. So it will push the trees up later. Uh, and that is also not... That's a little bit mean because the trainer ID gets pushed up. Well, I guess you can guarantee that will be on that one. At least that one. Yeah, okay. So at least you get the ability to guarantee where two of the trees are. Based on your train ID. Okay, so that's okay. Um, I assume there's something that uh, plots out where those trees are as well. Because, um, yeah, I, I don't know which one number 21 is. Okay, at least you can do that. But still, you are relying on that 1% chance, and through legitimate means, you're able to roll two trees every six hours. Uh, and that costs a little bit of in game cash as well, which is a bit mean. Uh, so, Munchlax is incredibly hard to get because of that. Um, 
it's the same in Platinum as well, so... What? Fluffer is evolving? I know, right? Look at him go! He's not really fluffy anymore, but, you know, I, I appreciate it. Uh, for reference as well, um... Uh... Oh, he's got trying to let Thunder Punch hunt time. Oh my gosh. So, Thunder Punch is exactly what I've been wanting, and I would love Thunder Punch instead of Growl, because I just don't think Growl is really worth it on, you know, on Fluffer. Fluffer is not supposed to, like, tank. It's supposed to try and, like, kind of sweep. I can tell you're a good trainer by looking at you. I'm good at Pokemon, and I can see that you are too. Sure, okay. Um, much I said had a bit of an interesting, like, run through, um, through the games in terms of, like, the ability to find them as well. This guy's got a Charmeleon. Alright, time for a bit of a debut. Get in there! Give him a punch. Mm, almost beautiful. Almost. <laughs> That's alright. Uh, so, yeah, Munchlax is, um, interestingly, like, in black and white, they're in the post game. Uh, which you can get as a, as a trade. Um, you're able to get Snorlax in Black 2 and White 2 and X and Y, but then you'd have to breed in order to get Munchlax, which is still okay. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon, he's on the first route. He's right there. <laughs> um, Sword and Shield as well, like, he's rather common. Like, uh, I'm saying Motorcycle Riverbank. Yeah, like, that's not too late in the- that's pretty early in the game. And it's just like... Yeah, well, five percent chance in the oh in the in the summer. That's still that's still not that bad. That's pretty common. I guess it's not like tons early game, but still. Uh, fun fact: you can only buy one honey and diamond from dialogue. Oh yeah, you had to buy it one at a time, didn't you? You had to just go into the thing. Oh, you want to buy some honey? Oh, thanks. Here you go. And yeah, if you're that kind of guy who doesn't know which honey tree. That's 21 honey trees, if you feel patient enough. You look strong. Good trainers seek tough opponents instinctively. Uh, sure. Butterfree! Yo, no arm boy. Get him with your surf. Ugh. <laughs> so, yeah, Munchlax is a bit of an interesting one. Uh, I don't have too many thoughts on, on uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, Arceus, but otherwise, it's... I'll see when it comes out, but I'm at least surprised and happy of a January release. This is the, the holiday window, I guess, but uh, what doesn't miss the holiday window is the Diamond Pearl remakes, which are coming out in November. November 18? Again, I've forgotten the day of the month, but it's November. Uh, we knew these release dates ahead of time, so I did- I was aware of that, at least. Um, but, uh, again, yeah, I'm happy that there's something coming out very, very soon. Um, I'm very lukewarm about what they're showing off with Diamond Pearl. I am such a boomer, because I played the first-gen Pokémon when it came out, and I was excited to play the second-gen Pokémon when it came out in 2000. Uh, just, you know, you read magazines when you're four, you just see this stuff and you're like, Oh, I love this Pokemon, and here is more of it coming out. Uh, I don't want to use the calculator I got Heracross, which I'm not going to use. Uh, Heracross is made- Oh, for reference as well, Heracross is available via those uh, honey trees in Diamond Pearl. So, uh, which, that's a fun one as well. I love using Heracross and I love using Munchlax. Fortunately, Heracross is- Oh, actually, no. Unfortunately, Heracross is a 1% chance on the non-Munchlax trees, and a 3.5% chance on the Munchlax trees, so... If I'm going for the... the Munchlaxes, I've got a better chance of getting Heracross at the same time. But still, 3.5% is not very high. Um... It's higher, though, so... I think I legitimately did the honey trees to get Heracross, actually. Um, because, yeah, I, I ran this thing where every single Pokemon game I play, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll use the same team every time. That, you know, that you can. And, uh, Golbat, uh, Crobat is one of them. Heracross is another one. It's kind of crazy that they both keep coming up. Uh, what's another one? Magnemite? Magnemite, uh... Golduck. 
trying to think of another one. Uh, Absol, Nosepass. This was on Tall Sword and Shield, by the way. Sword and Shield ruined Zubat. My first complete Pokemon game is Let's Go. Ooh. I think what's also interesting about Pokemon is that um, everyone does have their own, like, a very different first game. So, yeah, I, I always say I'm a bit of a boomer because I played this first one. A lot of my friends got in... A couple of my friends did get in on second gen, but a lot of them really got into on third gen. And then a lot of them really got in on fourth gen. And then by fifth gen, I, like, I was 15 when fifth gen came out. And uh, I think a lot of my friends were either like, well, we had already gotten into it into it or we don't want to get into it and uh yeah fair enough um i've had a few friends that did get into fifth gen when it did come out though um we definitely i think the bit that we peaked we especially all peaked around hot gold so when fourth gen was out that was cool but when fourth gen was redoing this one like that that is such a perfect package i think there's a lot of charm in this original version of golden silver i don't think that <laughs> I wouldn't trade it for the world, but, um, but, like, Hot Gold is just, like, it's so faithful and so, uh, great at expanding this game with the mechanics of, of the 4th gen games. I still feel like out of all the remakes, I think ORAS is the best one because it doesn't feel like it's trying to supersede the original. I think it is, like, trying to be a bit of its own play on it. Um, and I think that's just because, like, there's a lot of that Mega Revolution stuff in it. They, they tried real hard to, like, slot in the gimmick, and in doing so, they kind of turned it into a bit of a different product, so... I really like it for that. Uh, but yeah, no, Pokemon's great, because, yeah, everyone's got their own first title to go in with. Um, Sad Sounds of a Lonely Person. I, I mean... I, I, I guess also, if you played Let's Go, then I think you're in that day and age of people have online play, whereas, like, back with Diamond Pearl... Well, Diamond Pearl did have the online, so I guess it's that, but before that, it's like, no, man, you had to, like, scout your friends if you were, like, wanting to, you know, get that kind of stuff. Do you know about the legendary bird Pokemon? Oh my gosh. Jeez. Uh, so for reference, uh, I believe there's grass in the middle. You have to surf to get to the grass on this route. That's a... Real interesting one, actually. In that grass, you can get Weeping Bell, Tangler, Bell Sprout, and Lickitung. The rates are not really too weird between all of them. Uh, the, uh, yeah, it's not really too weird of an encounter, so actually, it's pretty alright. Um, other than that, there's nothing really like too new, but uh, yeah, you can. There you go, Herx level 16. He's catching up! So, uh, for reference, Heracross doesn't evolve as well. So, Heracross is gonna be Heracross. But, uh, when Heracross is of an appropriate level, I'm curious how well that's gonna turn out. We'll see. Definitely see how it goes. Oh, I'm just loving this, like, Thunder Punch. Just like, oh, that's exactly what I needed. Just, whoa. It's good stuff. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, the Diamond Pearl remake uh, in the Direct, I thought, was alright. I think the tough part for me is that I don't have, like, as hard a nostalgia for 4th gen. I think it's because it's the 4th generation of Pokemon I played. Not to say I was burnt out, I really did like 4th gen. Uh, but I think also I played through it really recently. It was either at the beginning of the year or it was um, at the end of last year. But we played... Uh, me and Mr. Mr. Fest Daddy played, uh... Uh... Diamond Pearl... No, we... Actually, we played Blindem. Never mind. Um... And, uh... Didn't take too long, actually. It only took, like, 25 hours, and that's even with, like, the post-game stuff. Like, we were kind of like, yeah, I mean, we could... Like... Go out and try and catch flying legendaries, but... That's about it. I like how I'm doing this all on the bike, by the way. Uh, I hope you really like these puzzles, by the way, because I'm not amazing at them. Right, I gotta think in my head, where am I sliding to? So I've gotta somehow be uh, up into that one. What are you talking about? Legendary bird Pokemon? Other ones I know. <laughs> about Fire Dragon Charizard. Char Lizard. Alright, so that puts you there, and obviously I can't really go down, so I guess I go up. Uh, I think I can go this way. 
which leads me to there, and that looks solid, so call it a day. Uh, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. I think you do have to go this way. Yeah, this way is important. Um, uh, oh, sorry. Brain blanking. You need this! If you don't get waterfall, you get you bit screwed, it's just sitting there. It's not like the- I mean, you, you have to see it going across. So I think the curious person will not miss it. But you definitely, you definitely can accidentally miss a waterfall. And you will need it in order to even, I think, try the next gym. The last gym in the game, as well. Uh, so this is why I needed strength, because you, there's the strength bubble. It's, it's just here. Uh, so yeah, speaking of which, uh, this is the ice path. Uh, it's full of, unlike some of the other, uh, places I've been in, there's no trainers. It's all, uh, it's all, uh, wild Pokemon, which does mean it's going to get a little bit in the way. Uh, you'll be able to actively catch Swinob, uh, in here as well as Golbat, Zubat, uh, and Delibird in silver. So me playing gold. No go. Uh, this is this is fun as well because it's full of like all these like tricks. So that's one where it's like okay, I have to push it up. Um, your goal is to try and push one of these boulders into every hole. So I think the easiest thing to do is to yeah. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. So I know you got to push that, push this one up. But I'm gonna have to come back around for this one. So there's that. Uh, as long as I don't lose my train of thought when the wild encounters come out. Um, the encounter rates, uh, I think, are slightly different on each floor, but generally it's the same Pokemon, so... Uh, they redraw this cave and crystal. Yeah, I'm not too... I can't remember if it is the same layout. I don't think it is. Uh, I'm actually going to get off the bike, Sunny Jim. Um, yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, okay. Don't, don't push it a little harder. You got, you got to make sure you don't get them stuck in the corners. But yeah, no, you're going to need all of these rocks. Alright, so there's one. It's not too many. It's only four rocks. So it's actually not, like, the hardest puzzle. Like, it's pretty clear which boulders go into which rocks. Or which holes as well. Uh, but it's definitely one where, yeah, if people love strength puzzles, this this game doesn't really sit on it too much, actually. I think this is the first time I've even used strength, isn't it? But uh, this is the more annoying part, this bit here. Uh, so you gotta push this down a little bit. It is just new texture, nothing more. Alright, I just changed the texture. Yeah, it's been a while since I played Crystal, so uh, off the top of my head, I'm not, can't remember it, but definitely, uh, yeah, there's a few things in Crystal that are like subtly changed. Um, it's not like Yellow, where it was kind of like a skin. Like Yellow, legitimately, just did not do um, a lot of like front-facing features differently. Did a few things, but not not a ton. Uh, well, I'm gonna need to push that one up twice and then push it left. Go, and if I ah, it was really a, a rock. Uh, but yeah, no. So uh, for the brilliant diamond and shining pearl, I don't have as hard nostalgia for fourth gen, and I look at that trailer and I go. It, it seems a bit too faithful. Now, that's fine, because honestly, like, you know, can you buy Diamond Pearl? No, so there's obviously merit in releasing a new version of Diamond Pearl. Uh, but for me, as someone who has a copy of Diamond Pearl and has played, like, 4th Gen very recently, there's nothing really selling me on buying a new game, because 
The only thing that they really showed off that's different is the underground gets expanded uh, in that game, and it's got uh, yeah some wild Pokemon that appear there. That's cool. And that's it. So this is why you push all the rocks so you can do that little skadoodle into the center. It's cool. I, I like this puzzle. Even if it's a little bit of a sit, and yeah, you gotta wing some wild Pokemon. Also, yeah, pick bait if you don't have rock smash on your, on your person as well. And you get the Never Malice. Actually, I believe you can just walk around for this game. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, step out here, and we're up another floor. Uh, oh. I gotta get that item now. I just see it, I'm like, oh, you can't skip it. You can't skip it, bro. Uh, something is wrong with Mime Jr. in my save. He evolved only after two levels. If you walked around a ton with your Pokemon, you will be able to evolve them like that. Um, I think I gotta go down the... Ah, darn it. Gosh darn it. But yeah, no, it, it's a friendship evolution, so it's possible that he can evolve after two levels. Um, just, yeah, if his friendship's high enough after the first one, first level, he's all set. Uh, my brain's trying to think, like, what? <laughs> What's the puzzle here? go down here because then I hit the corner. Uh, didn't walk this much after this much in diamond. It might be. Uh, I don't know. It actually might be. Uh, why am I mental blanking? It's like there's two rocks there. Oh, this is, this is silly. I'm silly. You can hop it. <laughs> Honey tree walk. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So this is TM44, this is rest. I think I got sleep talk at the end of the last uh, part, so there's more TMs that help that uh, lifestyle. I love how some of these rocks are actually like, <laughs> just little secret items as well. But not not that little nook, not that one. Let's keep going, so many, so many treasures in here. Just like iron, carbos. All over the place. Uh, it's not too like I think people do remember this cave a bit, but yeah. Um, yeah. So last last point I get to, uh, uh, on brilliant diamond and stuff. Um, yeah, it it didn't wow me. It didn't really show off like much that I'm not too sure of. And I say this knowing full well that uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, it's like it's so full of stuff. I, I'm pretty sure they advertised it of the things that were different about that and the old version of the game. Uh, never mind the art style of, of whatever they're doing with, you know, the chibi stuff. I'm not too fussed, but it just doesn't really wow me as, as much. And that's a bit of a thing. Wow, you must be a real hotshot trainer. That cave is full of level 20s. Wild Pokemon, there's nothing really dangerous in there, I swear. Dragonair is cute. But I don't have it. Do you have Dragonair? Want to trade it for my Rhydon? This is a bit of an interesting trade, because it's like, you're like, uh, Dragonair, wow. Um, but no, yeah. So for reference, uh, here is Blackthorn City. This is, uh, this nice little dragon training area. So everyone's actually, like, a cool trainer. Like a legit, like, you know, hotshot. There's a few people sitting around Claire and Lance trained here to hone their skills as trainers. I also love the idea of them tying together, um, like Lance into this whole story as well. Uh, are you going to make your Pokemon forget some moves? Oh yeah, that's something as well. So, uh, there's a move deleter. I forgot which one it is. I think it's this guy. Uh, oh yeah, so I'm the move deleter. I can make Pokemon forget moves. Shall I make Pokemon forget? So, it seems kind of pointless because you can just override a move, but if you teach your Pokemon a HM, you're intentionally not able to remove moves because otherwise you can soft lock yourself or hard lock yourself if you save the game in a spot and then you delete a move. Um, Voices inside my head. I'm listening to my radio. Um, 
So yeah, although I guess in theory, like, apart from Rock Smash, I can't really think of a move that you can get, like, stuck in. Also, I know in, like, uh, what's the 8th gen, like, you can trade your Pokemon whenever you want, so, I don't know, that's a bit of an interesting spot. Um, deep inside Far Off Indigo Plateau is the Pokemon League. I hear the best trainers gather there from around the country. That was a move I just wanted to teach my Pokemon, so I got the move to to make it forget a HM move. Yeah, yeah, so that's, that's the use case. There's actually not a ton to really witness right now, I guess. Um... If anything, I think there's a gym that we gotta, like, just dive into. And this gym is going to kick my butt real hard. Like, really hard. So, I guess I don't need Cut and Rock for the moment, but... I'm curious if I will need, uh, Shuckle. I think Shuckle actually might get caught out in this gym. I think everyone's gonna get caught out in this gym. I don't think I'm... <laughs> I don't think I'm, like, at all properly leveled. This is gonna be... This is a bit of a nightmare for me. <laughs> so, I guess, yeah, I've got two guys here. I've got the Juicer, I've got Chicky. I'm gonna commit with Chicky, actually. I don't know, man. I kinda wanna chuckle, and then I'm like, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, on a, I'm, I'm erring so hard. Uh, cause, yeah. I think that's it, really. Um. Yeah, that's... That's pretty much it. So, up here is the gym. Yeah, cool. Our gym leader is waiting for you. However, it would be impossible for a run of the mill trainer to win. Cool. Cool. Okay. Well, time to see how incredibly caught out I am. I think I've got one, one shot, and that is if Babat evolves. Herc is just not going to be there. I can grind, but I don't want to grind. I want to see if I can do this legit. Your first battle against dragons? I'll show you how tough they are. I'm pretty sure. There ha has there been a dragon type so far? I'm actually, hold on. I know this guy's got three Dratinis. They're all level 34. Dratini's not too tough. But uh, the thing to note with dragon types is if you don't have an ice type attack, you are going to be very caught out because dragon type is weak to only dragon and ice, and is immune to uh, fire, water, grass, and electric, which constitutes a significant number of moves. On top of that, they know Dragon Rage, which does a flat 40 damage. So... Me with my electric, grass, water, and fire Pokemon... Gonna get a bit caught out. Uh, that being said, it's not like Dragon Rage is super effective against, like, anything I've got. It's, like, Dragon is only super effective against Dragon, so that's okay. And on top of that, it's Dragon Rage. It's not too bad. Uh, this is 100% a I'm gonna switch out after this, uh, attack, because I don't want that bad to die. I can take on, like, this guy, but I'm also just like, uh... So I can use No On Boy because I do have Slam as my fallback move, so that's alright. Oh, something happened with the music on that one. You know what's about about Dragon Rage? The gym leader doesn't use it. But I feel like I'm just gonna like take it a ton right now. Uh, that being said as well, I'm I feel like uh like no one boy using slam here is gonna Okay, that's fine. I think no one boy is gonna cop it though. That's the one the one catch. I think Hot Doggo's gonna be caught out. Chicky should be alright. I think Hot Doggo's just not in the stat range, or with a fire type attack that's strong. I know Fluffer is. got tackle. But I also feel like, hey, I could probably use Thunder Punch, which is gonna do a lot of damage, and Fluffer is strong and also stab. Yeah, okay, I could do this in three moves. Uh, Thunder Wave is gonna make it a bit interesting, but let's we'll see how it goes. I'm slower, that, that is pain. I think this is the, like, this is probably going to be the more obnoxious trainer when he's using just Dragon Rage constantly as well. So if I miss with one of these, then, uh, Fluffer is not going to, well, this one in particular, I guess. Fluffer's not going to be able to make it. Hey, okay. Paralyze the ton. 
doesn't matter. Commit hard and you will always succeed. Um, so definitely getting Herc up the levels is gonna help, but it's not there. Look at that- look at that attack stat, by the way. Like, Herc is perfect stat-wise, because, like, you want a low special attack or attack, depending on which one you're specializing in, if you care. Herc has- or, or um, uh, Heracross has, like, pretty decent defense and special defense, and, and speed, and then this attack is amazingly great. Like, that's 50 for being a level 17. Now, I know that's only level 17, he's catching up, but, like, I look at the stats on these other Pokemon that I've got, and I'm like, well, I mean, you know, Babat's got 62 attack, and he's- and Babat's 14 levels above. Uh, Fluffer is my special sweeper. That special attack stat is 100% deserved. Uh, Growlithe is yet to evolve, so, fair enough. Uh, no one boy is like, yeah, even that special attack isn't, like, absolutely amazing. Uh, and yeah, like, 50 attack? I don't trust Heracross to live with 57 health. That's my only thing. Like, it's a bit incredibly low level. Uh, but even, like, having horn attack as just, like, an early move is really nice. So, I feel like I can definitely use Heracross sooner than later. And that's what I, I feel confident with Heracross. Whereas, like, Shuckle, I don't know, man. I, I don't feel confident using Shuckle. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking to this person again, but that's okay. Uh, so, I've got another four trainers to compete against, to fight against. Is it gonna be enough? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm really dreading this gym. Because, for, for reference, like, everyone was, like, dealing with, like, level 20 trainers, and then I, like, even the route before, uh, which I believe you can't go here until just now, or you can't reach that route and fight all those trainers just before the the ice cave. This is gonna be curious as well, because like this is the eighth gym, and once you're done with this, you bolt to the end game. So there's gonna be a curious next stream. There's post game, and I would like to show off a fair bit of it. So I'm not gonna absolutely ditch. Ah, oh, I forgot you need strength in the gym. Oh, I forgot. We go through rigorous training under Claire. I can't afford to lose. Oh yeah, I forgot to check that I didn't have any uh, dragon types. Seedra, by the way, is water type. Do not be fooled with them saying Seedra is... Time to push rocks in. Uh, yeah, don't be fooled by them saying Seedra is dragon type. It's not. It is water. That smoke ball, really? Oh. Seedra is ultra, like, spiky and aggressive, sprite-wise here, isn't he? Uh, or she, sorry. The she. Female trainer, female Pokemon. But Seedra is a bit bulky. And on top of that, they introduce an evolution for Seedra, which we will spot later. Uh, Twister is a decent attack. I'm not too here and there on Twister. Uh, it being a crit is a bit mean, but... Sure, there's one ditto among us among us. Said the sacred words right there. I don't think Chicky's gonna level up uh, at all. Oh, maybe maybe one level. Uh, yeah, no, there's. What, what are the? Oh, yeah, yeah, because you can. Oh, yeah, no, I'm actually I'm remembering it all now. It's all flooding back to me. My policy is use Pokemon that are stronger than Dragon Pokemon. So Ice Pokemon. Actually, you know what's even the worst part? Look at his. Look at his team comp. Number one, Horsey. It's like, okay, Horsey, that's fine. I'm getting back into it. Who needs, who needs Pokemon Center when you have... A, <laughs> this is the one time I get to use it to save me walking back to a Pokemon Center. Only to then probably take just as much damage from this Twister. Not as much, but sure. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I, I've i kind of forgotten that, yeah, this is the, uh, last, uh, gym. And, uh, yeah. There's one place. I do know that there's one place. Actually, there's two places. There's two places I can train beforehand. Uh, put, put Flash on Chicky before Red. Uh, no, no. I think we're set. You don't need to put Flash on Chicky. 
Alright, so, and then he's got a Seedra. He's like, this guy is like, oh, we've got to have Pokemon that are better than Dragon type. And he picks two pure water types. He is the one train, well, I guess the other person as well. The two trainers in the gym who did not get the memo and are very, very caught out by this whole uh, dragon type. Now, they're the only two who do go with uh, any non dragons, so that is one thing. Oh, really? Really? You're gonna do this to me? You're gonna do this to me, game? Okay, we're safe. We're safe. Grew to level 18. I don't think Growlithe has a place in this gym. Alright, good luck with pure Dark Mountain in the end. I mean, you don't have to go with a full team, do you? You can go with, like, part of the team. It's fine. Uh... I would like Hot Doggo to reach level 34. Is that what I'm going for? Yeah, 34. But I also feel like, eh, I mean, this... This gym... I don't think there's a place for it. <laughs> there's one place. There is one place. This is gonna be a real interesting gym. We're going... I'm, I'm chucking Noam Boy in, actually. I'm feeling like, you know, out of everyone on my team... Noam Boy is probably the one. I, I'm just curious if there's more trainers. Like, I think you only need... Uh, what is the point of all this adventure if you're gonna use a HM Slave at the end? It's Flash! It's Flash! Like, you have to have HM Slaves in order to do this. No one is gonna be caught dead teaching Slash, uh, Flash as an important move. This is... this is not the thing. Uh, so this person has yet another Dragonair. Well, actually, no, this is the first Dragonair. Full team? Like, I, I know, I know, I know. It would be nice to use a full team, but it's also like... That's their fault. That's their fault for putting HMs, like, as requirements. Wow! I'm faster than them all of a sudden. For one attack. I can do my training montage area. I guess there's that. There are places I can... I can train. But... Is it enough? Ah, the Thunder Wave. Oh, it's not very nice. That's okay. Oh, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. If this is a crit, then amazing, but... I'm wincing a bit, because I know that's not gonna win it. I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna commit. <laughs> Get him, hot doggo. Get him. Take down. Why is he using slam? Because he knows that's all he needs. <laughs> oh, why? Why? Well, uh, in you go. In you go, Fluffer. You get the the victory, the victory run right there. Bad back got a bit as well, yeah. And then Herc a ton. Yeah, jeez. That's odd. Yes, it is. 1776, yeah. Alright, so uh, I'm gonna go and do the search, where if I try and search for dragon types in my Pokédex, I believe the only ones I have seen are... Oh, does that only search my seen Pokemon? Sorry, my own Pokemon, and then for it's like, oh, none of them are dragon? Okay, just, uh, catch a glimpse, yell at me if you see any dragon types, apart from Dragonair and Dratini, right there. Uh, I'm pretty sure none of these are dragon type, actually. 
I think the game has done a good job not giving me a dragon type. Actually, now that I think about it, there's not even that many dragon types in the game. Uh, yeah, there's Seedra, but Seedra's not dragon type. That's uh, Suicune, I guess it's that. Yeah, no, they've done a good job. No dragons. Get on them. Uh, I'm just trying to recall where this, like, last trainer was. Yeah, they're over there. You can't even get to them normally. You gotta... You gotta push the boulders. Alright, so I'm feeling... Hey, if I'm struggling against one guy with a level 37 dragon there, what am I gonna do for a gym leader that has... Three level 37 dragon. Sorry, did I say 39? I meant 37 the first time as well. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, three of them. I guess none of them know... No, they all know Dragon Breath, don't they? Everyone knows Dragon Breath. But, sorry, they don't know Dragon Rage. They know Dragon Breath, which is just not going to be fun. Um, and that's that's uh, not counting um, the trump card that Claire has as well, which we'll get to that later. Uh, but fortunately, there are places to train. Unfortunately, I have no idea if they are, like, level appropriate in any way. Uh, but I can definitely try and boost No Arm Boy a little bit. So we got this route down below. This is route, uh, 45. Uh, this is a bit of an interesting route. It's got Graveler, just casually as you're going down, as well as Geodude. Uh, it also has Gligar if you're playing Pokemon Gold, and Tediosa. But if you're playing, uh, Silver, you'll find Fampy and Skarmory. These are both available, uh... Actually, uh, they're not available at the bottom. I was gonna say, like, oh, there's a... Um, there's some grass at the bottom, but it's actually a different route. So, there is that. Um, but interestingly, uh, there's also a cave, and in that cave, since we have every HM but Waterfall, we can technically traverse that whole cave. And there's a few trainers in there as well, which are nice. Look at this guy in his onyx. Oh, he's chucking the rocks at me. So, yeah. Um, all of these trainers are very optional, because, uh, literally, you could think to yourself, hmm. Do I have to go this way in order to get to the, you know, the end of the game after I get this gym badge? The answer is no. You don't. You can fly to basically the most convenient point and go from there. Herc may legitimately be able to just compete in this. He's about to get Fury Attack as well, which I'm thinking, Fury Attack? That would be funny instead of Tackle. a lot of moves as well. Like, I only caught him at level 10. He's level 19. And he's already learned uh, like, Jura and... Oh, I guess two moves. Still, two moves is great. Uh, the rest of his moveset isn't tons amazing. Uh, except for Megahorn when he reaches level 54, which is an amazing attack if you do end up trying to use uh, him that much. The rest of his moves that he learns through leveling, he learns counter at 27, which is incredibly situational. I just never find much use of it. Takedown, which is alright. I think Horn Attack is a bit of a more reliable attack, so that's fine. And you could actually teach Strength to him. I might as well teach Strength to him. I legitimately might as well just teach Strength. <laughs> I, I'm thinking of like, well, Strength is an 80 power, 100% accuracy move. Horn Attack is a 65 power, 100% accuracy move. Um, Fury Attack is also not a good move. So, I might as well. Uh, and yeah, unfortunately the only fighting attacks that he can learn otherwise are, yeah, counter, reversal, maybe? Reversal's a bit situational as well, it's not as strict like fighting type attack. Rock Smash, which is fighting type, but it's also got 20 power, um, and detect, which does not deal damage. Um, it's about to use War Turtle. Ooh. Or I can use Return. Return is actually an amazingly good attack. Maybe I would teach Return on him. Uh, another meme attack as well is uh, Earthquake. It's always great. Just Earthquake is great. And uh, if you feel like committing, he can learn Fury Cutter. But Fury Cutter is like, 
is 10 power in this game, building up to 160 over 5 moves. Whereas, like, now it's 40. It's, it's actually, like, they made Furikata a great move, so... Um, yeah, I don't know if I'd necessarily use Furikata. You can also learn uh, Toxic. I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, like, keeping... Yeah, maybe just going in with Return and Earthquake. That's probably the two. But I don't think you get Earthquake until much later, do you? Victory Road, cool. So, a bit later, but not like, not now later. Sorry, not now, but soon later. Um, and yeah, where was Return? I just want to remember where that one was. Golden Rod Department Store on Sunday. Strength it is. Strength it is. This is my requirement. If I'm playing the game only on Mondays, I have to abide by it. I'm not, I'm not cheesing it with uh, something else. So, Oh, hold on, it's Ralph. Good evening, it's me, Ralph. Got a minute? Want a battle? It's not going to be a repeated last time we met. I'll be around Route 32. See you later. I'm curious how many uh, people uh, like yet to prank on me. I'm an ex-special... Uh, yeah, this is a bit of an interesting one, because you just, like, go down and you, you know, dart through all those bits. Uh, there's generally two paths, but there is one bit where there's three paths, like, right where I'm at. So, <laughs> you do have to watch out for that. Actually, I don't think there's anything in the middle there, is there? Nah, so you don't actually miss out on anything there. Why do I climb mountains? Because they're there. Why do I train Pokemon? Because they're there. You know, words to live by right there. So. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so. Controversial topic. Do I mention it? Uh, I was gonna say, in, in terms of gaming news, things are. Oh, actually, no! Sorry! I can talk about two things. So I'll, I'll mention the controversial topic and then get into the actual news. So the controversial topic is a recent uh, unredacting of certain uh, Epic vs. Google uh, things. I remember mentioning it maybe once in a stream because it started before I got back into like doing regular work. Dang it! He's digging. He be digging. Uh, now, the controversial aspect is people hate Epic Games because they are making a competing storefront. And here they are, complaining that they are unable to make a competing storefront on, on Android. Uh, some people will say the arguments of Google is a private company, and therefore is able to control their ecosystem as much as they want. Uh, to that I would say, look at the, some of the things in this uh, unredacting of this document and go, Are you okay with Google being able to effectively pay off people to shut up? Are you okay with Google effectively, um, you know, pressuring or... Uh, you know, providing, I guess, like, I, I mean, yeah, like, people want a bit of the Google cut, you know, of money, and that's fair enough, and honestly, like, I don't blame the choices that have led up to this, but I 100% go, yeah, like, if, if Epic really want to, like, you know, say, oh, we want to make our own payment platform, can't escape, Gligar is a quick boy. Gligar's in a bit of a weird spot, I think he comes into his own, like, so, like, so much in 4th gen, when he's got his evolution, because you can do... You know, things like the Toxic Orb strategy, which is just amazing. Uh, by the way, if you go left here, there's two berries. Actually, this is the end of the route, isn't it? Yeah, it totally is. So I believe this is actually the, the cave, isn't it? Yeah, this totally is. <laughs> this is the cave. There's a couple of trainers up here, but I, since you can come here through the cave, these trainers are actually going to be a bit of a joke right now. There's only three of them on this route, but, uh, yeah, they're not particularly strong. Like, Mankey, level 17, is not too, is not too much of a threat, so I'm just doing this for a bit of the, bit of that late experience, you know? Yeah, I'm curious how end of game will go. 
because I do need a level, well, the ability to, to take down level 50s. I'm not too sure how able I'm going to do that. If you're, if you're shy of experience before the end of the game, that's what Victory Road's for. If you're shy of experience now, panic a bit. Wild Pokemon, just, I don't know, just, just fight him a bit. But I'm feeling confident enough to at least get to Victory Road without needing anything. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I, the epic stuff, like, I think, I mean, it is a court case, ultimately, like, I'll provide two cents and then it's like, eh, we'll see. Uh, I, I've been generally much more pro-epic games than the typical internet circle jerk, and I feel like people give epic a very hard time because, like, people don't want to buy their games through their platform. To that I say... Buy it next year. Do you really have to buy new games the day they come out and go, oh darn, they're only available on one storefront? Like... Like, I mean, it seems great, but... Is it that great? It's pretty good. I own a lot of games on Steam, but, you know... There's some things that Steam is <laughs> could improve upon. Uh, someone's gonna go like, look what? And I'm, I'll be like, uh... Original pricing. <laughs> Can't climb ledges, but you can jump down from them to take a shortcut. Uh, I can complain about uh, some, uh, I guess, like, um, exposure of certain games, because things definitely get drowned out on Steam. Yes, this is a war crime to release a game in, in one shop. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't want to downplay people's concerns of, like, of Epic buying out things. And honestly, like, I feel like Epic is... They are complaining of doing, like, the power play with money while simultaneously kind of doing power play with money. I think the purpose of what they're doing is not to, like, it's not to prevent games from being sold on other platforms. It's to try and drive attention to the Epic Games Store. I think them doing the free game every week is the perfect way for them to spend a lot of money advertising because it does get a lot of people like me looking at the storefront every single week and going, wow. I wish there were games I wanted to buy on this platform. Is that there's games that are brand new or indie games that are like well, not quite indie, but like this weird like you know period of indie, I guess. Um, yeah, no, I hot dog. I was just there's no love in this uh, in this gym. I'm gonna go with the flying, the flash fly, and we're just gonna fly up to the top, and I'm gonna take my run through the other set of trainers. Um, and then, uh, I'll check out the, the cave, because the cave also has a bunch of trainers that are around this level. You'd be surprised, actually, that there's a few trainers there. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, like, I, I think people... I call, I call it a bit of a circle back on the internet, because, yeah, legitimately, like, I think a lot of people are needlessly aggressive against it, as if they shouldn't be able to do that kind of stuff, and it's like, you know... They've got, one, they've got the money, and two... Not, sorry, not that they've... That, sh that is a terrible excuse. Uh, I think that they're doing it for a good purpose, which is to develop a competing storefront such that they can compete. Not that they can drive out competition, it's just so that they can, you know, go, hey, you know, we can give players a choice of not buying things through Valve, and, uh, because Valve has a real high cut. They've got a 30% cut on, on sales. People will go, oh, but like, you know, there's infrastructure, there's all that stuff, and then it's like, well, yeah, if if they're able to, to you know, go, hey, like, 12% is really all we need. Valve's a massive company, they get a lot of money in a lot of places. I feel like that shouldn't, you know, that, that's a fair purpose. It's not like, you know, not the, um, you know, they're, they're not doing like a freebie. Well, they, I mean, technically they're doing freebies, but like, they're not... Uh, F for TF2 for me. Well, yeah, 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 like, there is that as well. Valve made some good games in the past. They're definitely not making a lot of games recently. But, um, but yeah, like, I'm glad that TF2 has gotten the, um, you know, the exposure. Or, um, sorry, the, uh, like, you know, the attention and the updates over time. It's lingered and stayed in this weird state now, but it's alright. Uh, I love sending out a water type against electric types and just going, yep, you can't touch this. And if anything, I'm actually going to be incredibly glad about that in the next gym. 
because there's just a surprising amount of electric attacks that they know, and good on me for not having to deal with that. And yeah, this electric is like, yeah, what do I do? I think that's why they trade you a ride on there. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I, I don't have too many thoughts on Epic other than, um, I guess Epic also don't make a ton of games now. But they made Fortnite, and therefore they have a lot of money. And we should not be too ashamed of just going, hey, if you're gonna throw that money at anything, cool, alright. Just don't, don't be evil about it. Manko is under attack, the robots are coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I did like MVM when I played it uh, a bunch. Um, it's a different dynamic, but I thought it was alright. I think the, the, the king of TF2 comes from uh, its payload maps. Like, that's that's just the bread and butter of TF2. That's That just feels like everything is built around payload in that game. And I'm glad that there's a lot of payload. Uh, I'm gonna fly up to the top again, because even though I know I fought one trainer, uh, there's like one alternate path right here, and it's just so much more convenient to do that alternate path right now. Still a seven year game and I played. Uh, Oh, so, it's, oh, seven years since you started playing. I was like, TF2 came out maybe a little more than seven years, like 14 years. Um, I have been playing it since like 2011, very early 2011, so definitely more than 10 years for me. Um, I haven't been playing it as actively. I've been on and off. Um, I definitely played uh, CSGO a fair bit, not as like much as TF2, uh, like overall, but... I definitely think CSGO has been given a lot of, like, love and attention as well. Uh, as someone who does not play MOBAs, I have no idea if Dota has gotten any attention. I legitimately have no idea. I remember they did the auto chess game, and then abandoned it really quickly, because that was a real quick fad. I... I don't know what was with that. Um... But... Yeah. I, this is not to knock Valve as well. I do really like, you know, the Steam platform is great for what it does. Um, and Valve do make good games, and honestly, like, I'm glad that Steam keeps adding in and trying out new features, and also just keeps, you know, going, hey, like, we're gonna, you know, really, you know, invest a lot of just research and tech into pushing Linux development. Like, that's kind of cool. That That's actually honestly very understated, like, uh, but on the flip side, I mean, Epic also make the Unreal Engine, which is a monetized product, but it's also like uh, TF2 and Source 2. I've seen that. I'm not too sure like how well it necessarily works, but I'm glad that people are like taking the efforts of doing a bit of an engine port and going, hey, like, this would be cool, right? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, enough about uh Epic vs Valve, because uh, people keep forgetting that uh, EA pulled all their games onto Origin, and it was a bit upsetting, but you know what? Seems to be a working strategy for a moment. I think, if anything, EA probably considered going back to a major storefront once the competing storefront seemed to overtake theirs in terms of uh, features and library. Alright, yeah. Can we legit all agree? No pirate DLC in Epic? Oh, I, like, I know we shouldn't be able to talk about piracy a ton, but I'm also just like, is, is piracy actually a big thing um, with Steam DLC? I know there's some games where it's like, you could totally like trigger DLCs by just like, invoking some things here and there, but I haven't looked into it, and I don't know. I swear. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was gonna say like, I love how everyone says the Epic Games Store sucks, and never said anything about Origin. Like, Origin has suffered from, like, this feature creep that Steam has had this whole time. Here comes Epic, they released their storefront. It has all the same features, it doesn't have achievements. I guess that's that, that's the one, like, platform-specific thing they haven't done yet. We hear a joke, Paradox City Skylines have all the DLC and files. Um, Oh, really? Yeah. That's curious. I I don't know how to activate that. I haven't looked. Uh, I definitely do not know how to do that. Um, I was going to say, I've been playing Forza Motorsport 7, and all the DLC files are 16 kilobyte, like, downloads, because it's obviously just triggering something. 
I don't know how. I don't know, like, how that's working. Uh, I, I could take some guesses as to how that kind of, you know, logic works, but I don't know specifically how to invoke it myself to not have to buy the DLC. Never mind. I bought the DLC, so it's not like I can really test it, but... My father activated Skylines. There's, I mean, there's a lot of games out there as well that do have the DLC on, on disc, per se, because they need it. Uh, City Skylines, I feel like it's a game that doesn't need that. Like, The Sims is a very modular game. I wouldn't imagine City Skylines to be, um, in the same boat. And never mind, it's also got mod support, City Skylines, so couldn't DLC be in very similar ways to the mods? Who knows? Look at this big guy! This is the trade evolution of Graveler. You're never gonna really see him again. He's just here, why not? Golem is beefy as well. Don't mess with Golem. Russians broke system with EA games and Steam. Oh, they broke the system with EA games. So as in like they're able to get like EA play for free or something like that? That's kinda crazy. This is Lake. Why not? Mystery berry, that's a that's a mystery to us all. This lake's actually kinda interesting because you can use a good rod and catch Dratini. It's not physically higher level than, I think it's actually, it's level 20, so it is higher level than what you can get in the cave, but not by much. Uh, speaking of cave, there's the cave. I'm not going to the cave just yet, because there's one guy down here. <laughs> oh, why I show the power of mountain Pokemon. He's, he's getting into it. And he's happy about it too. Wow. Bailey, you can buy a subscription for all the A games like Spore. Then get a key to activate them in their launcher. Oh, yeah, that's still... that is still a thing, yeah. Um, yeah, I've, uh, I'm a little bit upset because I have a retail copy of Spore, and I can't activate it in the launcher, but my retail copies of the two expansions of Spore do activate in the launcher. So I am the proud owner of the DLC of Spore on Origin, but not the version, so... My only way to play the game now, legitimately, because I don't have a disk drive, is to download the game off GOG. And then, log in, because I have, like, I properly, you know, got account credentials to play Spore. I just have no means to ins to get the game from EA. And I, I had emailed them a ton in the past, and they did not give me any, they were just like, you can't do it with the retail version. Uh, this was back in, like, 2012, so maybe, maybe the policies have changed, who knows. But, that kind of has irritated me. It's really been like, eh, okay. Oh, this guy's got the five Geodudes. He's got no originality. It's just like, oh, five Geodudes, that's all we need. They're all level 13 as well. That's really not going to, you know, be worthwhile. Uh, but yeah, so, the, uh, other news. The actual news. Top of my head, tip of my tongue. What is it? The actual news, this one was for me. Uh, it's QuakeCon now. Can't open trainers be like, yeah. Oh, dude. First gen is horrendous when it comes to this. So, QuakeCon is on now. Uh, as someone who absolutely loves Quake, I am so over the moon with them announcing and releasing on the day for a free update for people who own Quake on Steam, as well as just, you can buy Quake on Steam, uh, the game now, uh, is an enhanced version by Night Dive, by, uh, Samuel Villarreal. I follow him on Twitter for years, I've been following him since he, like, since he just broke out doing Doom 64 EX. Like, that was the one thing he had done. Uh, he got in a little bit, a little bit dicey here and there with whether he was able to release that, but the guy was an absolute, like, genius doing that, and I... I have been following his work since. He did the, the Power Slave uh, version. Then he got formally hired by Night Dive to do uh, to do um, 
Uh, I know off the top of my head he did, uh... He did bits of Strife, didn't he? Like the, the, the redone version of Strife. Uh, the System Shock 1, uh, game, uh, Blood, uh, Turok. Uh, like, this guy has been crazy at creating this engine that supports all these, like, old games. And, uh, in the case of almost all of them, uh, has, like, great cycle accuracy. Well, not cycle accuracy, but, like, you know, demo compatibility. And I, I love... Uh, just like that kind of attention to, to detail and on top of that just like hey here's a game engine that presents itself very similarly to how it originally presented so stuff like implementing some Nintendo 64 style point filtering or texture filtering like that kind of stuff uh, the Doom 64 port is great but this Quake port is like oh it's crazy good it's still got a bit of that like Bethesda like oh okay I guess um, kind of stuff going on uh, with uh, yeah, I'm curious, like, who I'm gonna use on my team right now. Fluffer is the lower level, but I'm also thinking... I don't think there's any love for... Actually, are there any trainers in this dark cave? There are no trainers in this dark cave. I can explore it and grab Snore, but I'm actually thinking... There's no trainers in the dark cave, are there? I fought them all already. Well, I need something that no strength, so... You're out of here. Wait, didn't I just say I was teaching strength to Heracross? Yeah, I was. Okay, Heracross gets to be my strength. Uh, and therefore, I actually think I can, yeah, just run my whole fight. You win now. You win today. Um, so yeah, so they released... Uh, they did a collab with Night Dive, uh, so the game has a little bit of that Bethesda quirk where it's got a, um, uh, like, a bit of a login system at the beginning, uh, and it's also got their weird, like, m air quotes mod support where it's really just, uh, kind of, um, you know, they take some community, uh, kinds of things and authorize them and distribute them in the launcher. Uh, that being said, this first one is not a, uh, I guess, like, a random community item, because it is actually Doom 64 in all of its old classic map glory and also its old uh, texture filtering. A paradox, Hearts of Iron 4 be like, <laughs> I know, right? Um, and yeah, it's a free little add-on in, uh, in the game. And I'm like, oh, that's actually kind of cool. It's definitely like, yeah, base Quake is just so much better, but it's really cool that they added that in. Um, like, that's, that's really neat. On top of that, like, the game, you know, you can, you can tune graphics settings, uh, it supports, they stole Armored Personal Care, oh, they stole, they, they stole and resold DLC. <sighs> Can't believe it. Uh, I don't need any of the rest of these. No, I, I only need strength for the gym. Am I good enough for the gym? I really don't think so. I really don't think so. But, eh. I've got nothing else to try, really. Oh, actually, I think I can get up to Victory Road. So that I, I can technically continue on, but I can't. At that point, I'm starting to like grass and straws if I'm pushing so hard. Mod has done them before and rode to 56 and installed this for DLC. Oh, jeez. Um... So yeah, no, they, uh, with this Quake, uh, yeah, it's got, um, control support. I really absolutely love that not only does it have, um, uh, I, oh, I assume you just need to push one boulder down. Like, some of these boulders are there to move aside and some of them are to, like, push down the hole. Uh, this one is actually, like, the most painful one, because you look at it and you go, like, what's going on? But really, you just gotta go down and then push this one up all the way. I know, the strength puzzles never stop. Uh, and then other things, it's got split screen. I love the fact that the split screen now in this Quake version, uh, they properly implemented, uh, co-op, uh... The, oh, sorry, the co-op functionality is there, is there as well as deathmatch. You're allowed to do it on any of the maps. Really cool. 
Uh, you're also able to um, do, yeah, co-op the entire game, uh, as well as joining with people online, that's also really neat. Um, and then uh, on top of that, it's got the, the two expansions with the game, as well as Machine Games' uh, unofficial uh, fifth episode that they released in 2016. And also, a brand new, uh, uh, like, 13 level episode by Machine Games again this year, specifically for this uh, one version. Now, playing through it again, Classic Quake is Classic Quake. I love Quake. Quake is amazing. It's like, it's so purposeful. I, I absolutely love it. I will not say anything bad about Quake, apart from, uh... The levels feel very short compared to Doom. I guess you could say that. Like, the sense of scale is definitely toned back. I think that's okay. Um... Oh, I wish Dragon... Sorry, a Babak would level up, but it ain't happening. Um... I think No One Boy is my best bet. But I'm not too confident on any of this, really. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, uh, the two expansions, I think the, what's the first one? The Scourge of Armadon. Armadon. It's alright, I, I actually do like it, it's, it's pretty good. It's got a lot of, like, interesting levels and a lot of, like, non-abstract ones. I actually really like how uh, that game turned out and also just... Uh, it's got, yeah, a lot of charm to it. I think the new enemies and weapons aren't really interesting. I guess there's the scorpion. Uh, it's cool. Uh, there's the, um... Yeah, I can't even remember. <laughs> the sticky bomb launcher, I also just never came to a, like, a spot to really use it. Uh, it just kind of existed for me. Um, TF2 mono made a mod with updated bots and add a little story campaign. Oh, that's cool. Uh... That's right. The second expansion, I absolutely hated how, uh, kind of, it did drag on, that second expansion, so I'm not as big a fan of that one. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I played the Machine Games episode. The first one was, it felt very just like, hey, this is Quake, and yeah, it's cool. Like, it didn't do anything too fancy. Um, very orthogonal level design as well, like, very, like, lots of right angles. Focus level 23, so he's definitely under level, but he's also not particularly under stat when it comes to his attack. I think he's gonna be outsped so hard. Uh, the final boss is a classic heavy with two phases. Oh, that's cool. Uh, but the thing that absolutely wowed me about, yeah, the, the Quake thing was that last episode. So what, uh, so, so I think the first, well, episode they had was called, um, like, Age of, was it Age of the... Past? No, something. I, I forgot what it was, but this one's Age of the Machine or something like that. And uh, so you go in, you've got this nice little like intro kind of cinematic sequence as you're walking along. You get a little bit of a story. And then uh, you you get a choice of five two-level episodes. And I, I love the idea of that because it lets you choose just like, you know, whatever you want. Uh, and the two-level episodes really kind of give like a bit of a, you know, a bookend to just like, you know, a pair of things. Uh, all the levels are very detailed. They play off the fact that there's lighting. Uh, I think I'm supposed to be able to push another boulder down there. This guy is obviously in the way. You can't, you can't push the boulder down there. I mean, I could just walk around. I guess it's that, but... Oh, I'm so dead. I am so dead on this guy. I... Uh, the best part of strategies is when you try to make uh, roleplay from your adventure. Ooh. Oh, no, yeah, so I, I really love the level design with the, um... Uh, with uh, the first one I actually jumped into was like, it was a cathedral on this cliffside. I love... I'm a sucker for cliffsides. I'm clear, I'm the world's best Dragon Master. I can hold my own e against even the Dr Pokemon League's Elite Four. You still want to take me on? Fine, let's do it. As a trainer, I will use my full power against any opponent. Wish me luck, man. Wish me luck. Um, but yeah, no, there's this cathedral. And then you, you work your way through the inside. Lots of rooms, lots of little, like, you know, passageways you go down. And eventually you start descending down 
this cliffside, and you, you dart through pipes in the cliffside, map transitions suddenly, uh, the skybox is all red. You can fall to your death, like not hit the ground, like you fall forever. And then suddenly there's an upside down cathedral at the bottom, and I'm like, whoa, what is this? That's amazing. Like that, that is cool as. I don't care. Um, so yeah, this is the part that I'm concerned about. I got nothing to take on Dragonair. And there's three of them. I have one safety net, and that is no one boy exists and is immune to electric attacks. All the so Claire here has three Dragonairs. Uh, all of them know Slam, Dragon Breath, and Thunder Wave, and also all level 37. This one knows Surf, uh, which is uh, fortunately it's not getting through my. Uh, water type, but it's getting through my ground type, so it's normal effective. It's not, it's not the the best. It's not the worst. It's pretty average. Uh, this is definitely hyper potion. Do I have a slightly weaker potion? Yeah, yeah I've got a uh, fairy. Yeah, cool. <laughs> this is definitely hyper potion. Hyper potion's a bit overkill, but eh. what do you do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna reload if I botch this up too hard anyways, but... That's gonna be a bit disappointing. I would like to, to beat this before... Next part, but... Alright, well I might as well use Surf, because... It's, it's got such a lot of help. Um, Slam is unfortunately my best bet, because... Uh, no one boy's special attack isn't high, and on top of that this is only gonna be half effective, so... That's okay. Um... What I'm hopefully winging off is the other two are not going to have as fun a time with their other attacks. That is Dragon. Air. Okay, so so again, I don't know which Dragon Air this one is. Now, one of them, so that one, that first one, no Surf. This one might know Thunderbolt, but it's not going to use it. But they all know Dragon Breath, which is. Not particularly any weaker. Uh, trouble with using Thunderbolt is, uh, yeah, who do I go up against this guy with? Bad Bat is gonna get absolutely torn by both of them because the other one knows Ice Beam, and I'm like, ugh. And also, get actually getting paralyzed in the worst because I'm slower, anyways, but. I can only attempt to use this once at this rate. Like, he's strong. And I'm, I'm dead anyways. Cool. Oh, I'm faster all of a sudden. So I'm in this tough spot where, yeah, I don't particularly know what I'm going to be using against them. I've got a Herc. Yeah, Bad Bad is going to get, this is 100% the Thunderbolt one, so. If anything, actually, none of these are like... Two bad options. Uh, Fluffer is like. Oh, maybe I should have saved Fluffer. Ah, let's commit. Oh, he's going with the Dragon Breath. It's got Stab. And just. Oh! Okay, sure. I can't remember from my Pokemon Blue Let's Play if I, like, cut to the winning runs or whether I legitimately, like, did it first go like that. Oh, Fluff is gone. That's a bit disappointing. I've got revives, but... Do you want to really balance out revives? Uh... I don't know if I'm going to be faster than this guy. Oh, we'll go Hot Doggo. Now, Hot Doggo does have takedown. There's the Thunderbolt one. Okay, I I and my friend doing co-op adventure red and blue, making teams similar to red, blue, Gary. We got blue roll, so I made a plan for the whole adventure, what moves I need and where I can get them. Uh, we fight after every gym, and I literally won all the battles against them with the exception of the first. Didn't you have the Pokemon that's super effective? Alright, so here's, here's mystical Pokemon number four, Kingdra. I, unfortunately, do not have Fluffer, but I do have Chicky, and Chicky's almost good enough. Uh, 
Kingdra is Water Dragon type. Uh, fortunately, it does not have uh, the abilities that third gen Pokemon have. Unfortunately, it's Kingdra. So he knows Dragon Breath, Surf, Hyper Beam, and Smoke Screen. Smoke Screen is probably my saving grace because while he's spamming it, uh, I get to buy myself a few turns or miss one of the two. Uh, Dragon Breath, uh, oh, Kingdra is like absolute killer when it comes to stats, though, so I don't expect Chicken to really last. But hopefully, pulling off a, you know, Poison Powder is gonna buy me a bit. Uh, maybe Reflect? Nah, I'm out. I'm gone. See ya. Now, unfortunately, uh, Hot Doggo is Fire type. And Herc exists. So, I guess I can just bat that, I guess? Hit him, with, hit him with one of these? Buy myself some more turns? Uh... That poison powder is probably gonna come into effect a bit, but... A bit. I don't think it's gonna really... If I win this fight over that, I swear, something's, something's wrong with everything in the world. Look at that double hit, bro! No, no, no super effective moves most of the time. It's like engineer gaming, but with blue. Yeah, this is the one, the one thing. I knew it. I knew there's a hyper potion sitting in there, so... Get that poison off and I can at least cheese it a bit. Uh, I forgot what, yeah, what blue's team was. He's got the, he's got the ride on. He's got the eradicate. Uh... Raticate shouldn't be too bad. But I guess it's first gen. Raticate is dead. Oh, you have to ha you have to kill the Raticate, really? You like getting smoke screen only to just use Confuse Ray some more? Maybe this is the ultimate strat. This is all tournament legal as well. I, I haven't done anything that like Smogon would yell at. Legit. You're allowed to use Confuse Ray and Poison Powder all you want. You're not allowed to use uh, two Hyper Potions, but I mean, they've used two Hyper Potions, so... Uh, I'm genuinely concerned that the Kingdra was that quick. Or rather, that, like, smooth, but I'll take it. I think it's because I didn't have to deal with super effectiveness. Uh, so now here comes Dragonair number three. The last Pokemon. Uh, joking, I didn't have... Oh, okay. Alright. Now, I'm faster than this Dragonair, so that's alright. Uh, so again, Dragonair, Thunder Wave, Slam, Dragon Breath. This one has Ice Beam. Ice Beam is going to tear Babat. It is not going to tear Growlithe, but Dragon Breath will. Uh, so, I'm just gonna cheese it. I'm just gonna wing Confuse Ray and go to town and go... Hey, if, if Babat can't... Oh my gosh, is this actually... Did I do it? Really? I was... You gonna do it? You gonna do it? Suck eggs! Get in there! What? What is going on? What is? What is happening? My game is cursed! I swear! <laughs> this, I lost! I don't believe it! There must be some mistake! I swear there's a mistake! I won't admit this! I may have lost! But you are still not ready for the Pokemon League! I know! You should take the Dragon user challenge! Behind this gym is a place called Dragon's Den! Go and bring me the Dragon Fang from deep inside the den. That is the test to be accepted as a true Dragon user. If you can do that, I will accept you as a worthy trainer. Until then, I will give you a badge. Whew. Grandma really- I- You know, yeah, Margaret Thatcher may have possessed my game real hard. Freaking, she's just like, Bro, I ain't letting this Dragon Trainer get you. I swear, like, I swear I was gonna get absolutely swept. And then here comes Golbat, just faster than most, gets to rock the confusion, and <laughs> every single time they rock, they just took the hit. They took the hit. What? What happened? And Golbat still didn't evolve. He is still... Like, he's level 32, he's yet to get there. Oh, th oh, wait, no. Yeah, no, he's level 32. He still did not get to evolve. What is going on? What is happening? Who knows? Oh, well. 
Uh, so I need Whirlpool, and I'm in this interesting spot where I don't want to teach Whirlpool to Quagsire, because I feel like that's a major dampener, pardon pun, on the moveset. So I was thinking of just getting a water type, and what perfect water type than uh, one that you can literally catch. Hold on. Yeah. One that you can literally catch in here. I actually, I don't even have to move anywhere. I just realized, I'm like, yeah, I'm looking at it. I can catch him here. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, so I'm going to put Babette away because level 32. I don't know what now. He's supposed to evolve with friendship and he's taken his time. Did I really like torment him a ton before? And he's just like, yeah, nah. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, nah. I can just catch the Pokemon I want right here. <laughs> so, uh, let's go in, and I'm gonna go with the basement key. Yeah, that's what I want. Oh, we got the good rod. Uh, uh. Oh, bite. Uh, now, yeah, so there's two kinds of Pokemon you can get here. Poliwag or Magikarp. There's a better chance you can get a Poliwag with the good rod. And I... Wait, I've already got a Poliwag. What am I doing? What am I doing? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. There we go. Alright, my finale team gonna look like this. Blastoise, Pidgeot, Ninetales, Rhydon, Executor, Jolteon. Legit? I used... Uh, Executor and Jolteon in my, uh, Pokemon... Uh, yeah, in my blue team. Do I still have... Do I still have the, um, the OneDrive, like, text file? Because I wrote this stuff down all in a crazy text file. I don't know if I will be able to find this, so I can't remember off the top of my head. But 100%. Smell your later gaming? <laughs> nice. Um... So, yeah, so if I... Oh, Surfer Brock. Duh. Uh, yeah, okay, I have no idea where that document is. It's been, like, eight years. <laughs> um, but I I can 100% guarantee that I, I used Executor and I used... Um, oh, with the Poliwag Mini Sprite? I know, right? It's like, whoa, it's an actual Sprite. <laughs> right there. Alright, we're teaching Whirlpool to Poliwag. He's trying to learn Whirlpool. You can't learn more than four moves. You gotta delete a move, bro. Uh, so, I've already... I didn't teach him any of these moves. Weird. Yeah. So he knows Whirlpool, and I'm also gonna teach him Surf. Why the NPC sprites visible above the menu? I don't know. Uh, it... Yeah. I actually have no idea why. I, I assume it's because the text dialog boxes are, like, backgrounds. Um, so the way that sprites get drawn, uh, I assume they're, like, offset slightly. So, like, they, they try drawing them in this one spot and then they go, oh, it's actually, like, the row below. And you can kind of, like, you can... I don't want to say you can see, like, a bit of a scan line kind of go on some things, but... You can definitely see, like, some things where, it, like, it clears the top of the screen before it clears, like, the... The bottom. None of these are, like, perfect use cases, but definitely, I feel like that's, that's the case there. Um, yeah, okay, no, yeah, game's curse, because I shouldn't be able to take on Claire, like, with a team that's way too underleveled. I didn't quite get to show up Heracross yet, but we'll get there. So, the cave is just here. This person does not let you in. Imagine you want to open your box, but random on uh, this is mother for a sec. It's not mother, nah. Uh, you may enter. So yeah, so you're able to come in here after you've got, uh, after you've been in the gym. It's not really that fancy. It sounds fancy. The music is really going. Uh, but yeah, no, this is the Dragon Sense. So in here, you can catch Magikarp or Dratini by surfing. Uh, actually, if you use the good rod, you will be able to get Dratini at level 20. Uh, if you surf, you will only be able to get it from level 10 to 14, so you might as well just use the good rod and catch Dratini. The odds are also the same as well, surfing or not. Uh, other than that, there's items. 
but you're finding magic up. It's is this this is the place where they train? But all the wild Pokemon are incredibly weak, and also mostly magic up. So I guess it's a uh, training in spirit when your joke materializes again. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I'm just gonna reset the chat position yet again because I never fix this. Name a stream where I fix that. So anyways, work your way around and you'll find this. The Dragon Fang! This is a key item. I believe. I think. Oh. Alright, I recognize the true power. This is bad job. <laughs> they just give you this, like, here! Rising badge will allow your Pokemon to use move for climbing waterfalls. Also, all Pokemon will be recognized as trainers. So, now you're allowed to uh, trade Pokemon, no matter what level, you can use them. That's, that's cool. And also you get TM24, which is Dragon Breath, which no, it doesn't have anything to do with my breath. <laughs> Woo! Woo! If you don't want it, you don't have to take it. Crystal remakes better with this mode. Yeah, oh, legit. It It's like, you think there's another fake out. From here, I go to New Bark and then Surf East. The route there is very tough. Don't you dare lose at the Pokemon League. If you do, I'll feel even worse about having lost to you. So yeah. That's neat, but yeah, no, like, that was kind of it. It just kind of happens. Um, and yeah, that was it. I needed someone who knew Whirlpool. So, uh, now the run is over. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I- yeah, I'm trying to recall what my Exeggutor had. Did I- I don't remember if I still have Egg Bomb on him, but, uh, Jolteon was like my bread and butter. Uh, speedrun time. This could be a speedrun. What stream number is this? Is this... Is this 8 or 9? I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but considering these are all two-hour streams... Um, yeah, like, I... yeah, like, Pokemon is not, like, it's never been, uh, the longest game. I think... I think people do, like, hold on, even better, even make it feel even worse. Uh, this must be stream 8, because, yeah, that's... that's 15 hours 32. Because, yeah, I've, I've never had Pokemon take too long on me. Oh, and then you get a call from Professor Elm. Hello, Bando. I have something here for you. Could you swing by my lab? See you later. Uh, you could... Uh... You could fly down. I think it's probably quicker if I do that, because I'm going to need to switch Pokemon anyways. Actually, am I going to need any Pokemon that know HMs or, like, minus Surf? Oh, you actually are going to need a Waterfall. Yeah, okay. Alright. We'll put Fly on him. Alright, so I'm going to get rid of one of these. I'm going to get rid of Fluffer. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of Fluffer for the moment. And uh, we'll withdraw the fly. The flashlight. I don't think I need cut and rock yet, but. but yeah. Uh, so I guess I'm just going to continue on a little bit. Uh, and then, uh, yeah. Yeah, Gen, Gen 4 takes its time. Real talk though, last time I played Gen 4, I swear, I spent about. 27 hours total. It's not too long a game. My research is going great. Take this. Master Ball. Just catch. So, uh, yeah, if you're having trouble catching any uh, roaming Pokemon, feel free to use the Master Ball. Don't feel ashamed. This Master Ball is here. It will automatically catch something without fail. It's only given a great Pokemon researchers and definitely not thieves. The thieves are like, yo, Totodile. dial. <laughs> so, yeah, uh,. I love this as well, just like, you get to go this way, and suddenly, like, you're in this new area, and you can go here, uh, I often want to sleep while walking, yeah, it's definitely so, whoa, whoa, hey, do you know what you just did? You've taken your first step into Kanto, check your Poke gear map, and see, and I, I love this just, like, feeling of going, like, oh, like, you know, I'm almost at the end of the game, the Pokemon League, and then you go, oh, oh, no, <laughs> So fortunately, uh, you're only going up. 
but so you know, we need your passport. Um, but I, I love this idea of like, um, you know, that the Pokemon world is um, larger than the Kanto region, but the Pokemon, the Indigo League is, oh sorry, the, the, the Pokemon League on the Indigo Plateau is like the cream of the crop uh, where trainers all around the country. Like, um, I love this just concept of just that being uh, the case, so. Uh, yeah, so head in, and, uh, this is the Tojo Falls, uh, it's an anagram of Johto, uh, you can find, uh, there's one item over here. It's a moonstone. You probably want it, actually. Uh, you can come here after getting Surf, you obviously need to beat the gym in order to go further from here. This is what using Waterfall looks like. <laughs> it's amazing, I love it. Uh... But yeah, you can find, um, in the water, you can find Goldene, Slowpoke, and Seeking. Uh, they're all between level 20 and 24. This is, it's, it's not a JoJo reference. Tojo. T-O-H-J-O. Uh, and to go down a waterfall, you just hit down, and it looks like I didn't hold, I, it looks like I held down, but I didn't. I swear. Uh, then you come up here, and this chick's all like, eh, it's, uh, I usually see people up here. So, it is at this point that we start finding trainers. Megan! And also, it's at this point that the game is like, Oh yeah! You've got all the badges! We're gonna throw some throw some mean trainers at you, so... Uh, let's get Hot Doggo some love. I'm also not gonna be afraid to chuck her in the middle of a fight, but... For now, it'll be alright. So, uh, yeah. So here's, uh, yeah, cool trainer Megan. She starts off with, uh... Wait, hold on, we broke the rule! We broke the rule, this is a female trainer with male Pokémon. I don't know what happened. We broke the train. Maybe Kanto is a different place. Uh, but yeah, no, this is Route 27. Yeah, you just go east from the starting town. It's a lovely way to bookend everything. Like, I know a first gen does it as well, where it's like, you're going around, you go past the seventh gym, and suddenly you're at your starting town, and it turns out Viridian is home of that eighth gym the whole time. I love that. And I'm glad that this game does it in a very similar way. And I'm surprised that no other Pokemon game ever does that. Instead, your starting town is, is always this bizarrely, like, offset, like, location on the map. It's got nothing to do with the rest of the game. He really wants me to go to sleep. One guy tried to make his first Pokemon play through Nuzlocke on stream. My condolences, unless he's playing, like, 4th gen onwards. Uh... I feel like, yeah, my Pokemon offended way too many times for me to have pulled a Nuzlocke. Um, I, Nuzlocke is legit, it's real hard in, in this game, I'll tell you that. Um, like, yeah, you, you're seeing my team, it's like, I've had to fight, like, you know, that Kingdra, and the best, the highest level of my team is 32. And yeah, that's with all eight badges! You died on optional rival Fire Red. Uh wait, as in the first, like, one, like, you go up and then you go to the, the league right away, and he died on that one? That one is a bit of a left-field fight, I'll say that, but, and also, yeah, if you don't know that it, that it's coming, it's a bit mean. Um, yeah, no, never, no, don't try a Nuzlocke. Play, play the game by its rules, and just, you know, learn the game, and then, and then go for a Nuzlocke. And even then, I, I find Nuzlocke is a bit of a weird one. Because it's like, it's cool in some ways, and it's a bit, like, unbalanced in other ways. It really depends on there being a lot of routes where you can catch Pokemon before you find, like, trainers that are incredibly mean. And that just favors all the later games. If you play first gen, like, your Pokemon are supposed to faint. That's just the nature of the game. That's fine. Oh, well, you're really strong. Uh, so if your Pokemon are weakened... Lovely grammar. Where are you off to with Pokemon? Pokemon League? Are your Pokemon loyal enough for you to win? Let me see. I your Pokemon trust you very much. It's nice to see a good trainer. Here, a gift for your journey. And you get a TM37 Sandstorm. Oh, this grandma doesn't heal you, no. You're a grandma and you don't heal me. Show, uh, so whole second run is me showing him the way with Squirtle. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you got Squirtle, you can definitely choose a lot more. Um, yeah, this is a bit mean as well, It's the fact that, like, one, as well, uh, do you wanna, oh, yeah, actually, no, yeah, you can fly. I don't know why my brain's thinking, like, you can't fly, but you totally can. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Back to the mum. 
Uh, so I'll see... How far can I get? Before, like... You know, I fall asleep. I don't really know what's a particularly, like, great place to checkpoint this. Uh, oh wait, no, sorry, that's the bank. I'm trying to, I see, I've kept your room tidy. I'll suspect you might- No! No! Do you not sleep? You don't sleep, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy that I don't sleep. Okay. Uh, he on Brock, holy crap, he died from two water attacks. Yeah, I mean, okay, people expect a lot from Brock, and then it's like, have you seen the special defense stat? Oh, sorry, it's first gen. Have you seen the special stat on Onyx? It's abysmal. Onyx is such a physical wall. And I feel like they put him in to guide players into using special attacks. But I don't think it really tells players that special attacks are particularly good on, uh, Pokemon with low special stats. He died this time on Bridge Rival. Bridge Rival is also very mean. The Rival is generally very mean in first gen Pokemon. Uh, game gave him two times the win. You know, this guy can just like not play Nuzlocke at this point. There's actually, there's no grass on this outside route, so there's just going to be a little bit of swimming. And I actually think, uh, and I said, uh, use Bulbasaur. I wonder who in first gen is the easiest to use. I'd probably say Squirtle. By the way, if you go this way, you think you're cheating the system, but no, they, they intended for it. But they didn't 100% intend for it well. They give you an item to reward you. No Bulbasaur? You would say Bulbasaur is the easiest? Leaves. Yeah, crit razor leaf is generally pretty good. I'd probably say yeah. Charizard does get crit slash though. I wonder what's... I think the thing with Squirtle is that like any water type can really like be the water type. Except for Golduck. Man, man, this is not a Golduck household. Uh, am I gonna be able to outrun this tentacle? No. Darn Tentacruel being really quick. There's only a 10% chance for Tentacruel as well, so that's just good fun for me. Uh, also his first star is Charmander. Yeah, I mean, if he didn't get wrecked by the rival then, he's gonna get wrecked by Brock immediately. You know, un unless he knows that the one thing that you can do is Butterfree, and even then, how, how much are you allowed to grind in Nuzlocke? Side note as well, uh, uh, don't look at my Steam and see that I got all the achievements in Quake. This is the first time I played the game on Nightmare, by the way. Um, it wasn't as hard as I was expecting, but it's definitely, like, it's a bit tricky and you gotta, like, pace yourself a bit. But, uh, because the enemies don't really hit you harder, it's actually not too bad. It's just the fact that the enemies are faster, uh, so you do, like, you don't get as much opportunity to try and run past everything. You do have to legitimately uh, just go for it. So yeah, so uh, a bit more water. Oh, you missed it. Oh wait, there is grass. What is in this grass? Ah, here we go, okay. So if you're playing silver, there's Arbok and yes, and Dodrio. Uh, I kept silent about the poison, he thought- Oh, he fell for the poison. He fell for the poison. Done. You look pretty strong. Let me battle you! Oh my gosh, jeez. Uh, so yeah, so if you're playing silver, there's Arbok and Dodrio. If you're playing gold, there's Sandslash and both versions have Ponyta, Dojuo, Raticate, and Quagsire. Quagsire is going to be a common encounter in nighttime, so that's going to be fun. Uh, this guy has a Magneton. I watch this rat die. Oof. Uh, so I'm going in with Hot Dogger on this one. 
I was expecting more than one evolution this button, and instead Hot Dog has like barely moved anywhere in terms of levels. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use Ember. I know, he's quick. I know he's got Thunderbolt. He's getting no experience out of this, is he? Well, I've got one strat. Back to no one, boy. That's it. That's all you get. That's all the experience you need. Oh, the bait. The bait. You can use Screech, which is fair enough. You tried to use Water Gun Paris. I mean, I, I, it's okay to, I guess, mistake Paris for a, a bug type. Because you use bug type, it's just also a grass type, which is, yeah. I think it's because maybe uh, a bug trainer is... I don't know if a bug trainer is using Paris the first time you get him. They try to really, like, guide you into what, like, uh, types everyone's using. Um... Oh, I can't use... I can't use her because this guy may be... Ah, uh, this is a bit of a weird spot for me because I would like actually like to use Hot Doggo, and I can't. Yeah. Okay, we're committing. Commit. The funniest shit I've ever seen. Yeah, maybe. Alright. I feel like Execute might have confusion, and that's just gonna screw... Like, that will really screw her. But... Herc is speedy boy! He was level 10 two hours ago, and he does no confusion. <laughs> Done. 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 Hey, mm. I just, I, mm, I just want to have, like, a good time. Alright, well, as long as Execute doesn't know any grass type attacks, I'm okay. Gosh, I'm getting, like, really outclassed by, like, everything in here. He knows Solar Beam! Ah! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, really? Alright, Chicky, you're out. He's not living that. He is not living that at all. Ah, oh, so for reference, Solar Beam, you see that one, like, first turn, and you go, Bail. To move to your, like... Easy, like, soaking Pokemon right there. It's not very effective, like... Well, okay, everyone got a bit of experience then. Uh, and then, yeah, this last one is Quagsire, so I'm like, oh, I mean... Might as well commit. No, I said commit! And now he's raised his special defense stat by two. Done. I mmm mmm game 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 are you gonna hit there you go okay it's super effective well at least Herc didn't die but uh well that was your first taste of Herc Still a bit underleveled, but he's getting there. Yeah, you're good, aren't you? So there's something cool as well. If you really don't care about the rest of this route, uh, you can technically surf almost the entire rest of it because there's a gap here. Uh, this guy's got one singular sand slash. It's level 35. They definitely know that you fought a gym with three level 37s and a level 40. So you might as well commit to, you know, fighting strong Pokemon. Uh, that also means actually that, like, these guys are not too bad to have as three fights. Just as I thought. I lost. But yeah, no, if you legit, like, don't want to fight anything, just surf. Don't say a thing, let me guess what you're thinking. Mm, I got it. You're on the Pokemon League Challenge. Well, be sure. Cool. Oh, this is the Psychic. Oh, this is the Psychic. Am I ready for this? Is my team, like, there? Oh, they're actually, like, low level. Okay. I'm sending out Chicky. I got a Super Potion. I guess I can, I can, like, fall back, but... Ah, Rapid Spin. Uh, I'm 
going to actually use the super potion preemptively on Hot Dogger because there's an execute and I'm I'm not winging it. I'm gonna commit. <laughs> I'm gonna go on for it. So yeah, so there's from here on out to the end of the game, there's a significant number of trainers. Uh, it's definitely great for training, uh, just in general. For reference as well, uh, Victory Road itself has one boss encounter at the end. You can take a guess who that boss encounter is going to be, uh, but yeah, after fighting all the trainers on this route heading east and then this the next route heading north, that's it. That's all I get uh, before fighting pretty much one guy and then five guys. Uh, and this is going to be a bit interesting because I don't know how on earth my team is going to fare. Herc, we're to level 26. At least Herc is getting there, but, uh... Oh, I'm like... I'm, I'm definitely getting tense. I guess I got a few red candies. I guess I can commit to that. Go, hot doggo! Use your fire attack! At least this is a weaker execute to the last one, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. All good. It's like barely any experience. Why is it so slow? Alright, and then Drafferig, uh... I don't know who would be good against Drafferig. Herc, I guess, but... It's Dark type. Drafferig. Drafferig's great. I love him. Like, I'm just gonna do, like, a Surf Sweep. Unless a Stomp kills me, but, eh, defense should be fine. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Bad. I should start buying some potions. I should legitimately, like, start spamming items. I don't know how to feel with, like, the level. Because, oh, sorry, like, my Pokemon level. Because on the flip side, like, I do have badges. I'm going to look this up, just right now. Uh... Oh, that's, that's the wrong game, Pokemon Gold. Whoa, ha, 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 dang it. Uh... Yeah, stat boost. What is this? So, yeah, so in Gens 1 and 2, stats are increased by 12.5%. And in Gen 3, they actually do a 10% increase. So, that's kind of neat. Um, I wonder if Hot Doggo will get stomped on. We'll see. The Tom Pass? The Tom Pass? What? Yeah, okay, so from... That's just disappointing. That is incredibly disappointing. Right there. Chicky! Is Chicky faster? I think Chicky's faster. Or he could just use the Tom Pass again. Okay, so. Uh, but yeah, so after getting uh, one of the badges, uh, you get. Uh, yeah, so. Actually, the Zephyr badge is your first one. Um. So yeah, so your attacks that would go up by 12.5%, then the mineral badges, the third gym, uh, so uh, your defense stat goes up by 12.5%, uh, the glacier badge is the seventh one, actually no, sorry, that's the plane badge is the third one, which one's the mineral badge? I can't remember which one was the mineral badge. Um, the point is, is that yeah, all my stats would have gone up by 12.5%, although from the looks of it, Bulbapedia says due to an oversight, special defense is only boosted if the Pokemon's unboosted special defense stat is lower than 206 or higher than 432. Now, fortunately, that is not going to be an issue for pretty much, like, the foreseeable future, because all my stats are, like, below 50. Well, we can't look down there, but, like, you can see that special defense is, like, apparently my strong suit in one go. What do I do when, uh... I got, oh, I guess he's level 26. Like, he is tending to, like, that level, but... Yeah. 
Uh, I am going to call it there for the day. I'm going to head in and restore that Pokemon health. And uh, tomorrow uh, is bound to be not just... Like, I feel like there's not a full two hours left of content left in the game. Uh, minus post-game stuff, which will take a fair bit of time. Uh, not as long, but we'll see. Uh, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that there's a smooth run to finishing the game next week. And that'll be kind of neat. That'll be really, really neat. I'm surprised, actually. I'm, I'm amazed at, like, yeah, eight parts in, and that's almost a whole game to, to the end. So, anyways, with that, have a great thanks for watching screen. I, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed watching this. Uh, as always, you can shill for me by clicking follow will be promptly alerted every single time I do a stream this week or every every week at the same time as this week and I have a YouTube channel where I upload all these VODs and that's about it that's really all that means uh, I don't show for money um, I do have a PayPal but you're gonna find it I guess do I really show for this I don't know I just do this for fun it's good fun uh, that, uh, yeah, I, I really don't have any other news. I love my long thanks for watchings because I can't come up with things to do in the meantime. So all I can say is stay well, stay healthy, eat your greens, go to sleep on time, uh, do your homework, clean your room, uh, learn how to backflip carefully under supervision. <laughs>